Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the literal dumpster fire that is this video. Today I'm playing a game so easy you can beat it while doing 50-20 mode in Ultimate Custom Night. <laughs> That's not a joke, by the way. Someone actually did that. I'm, of course, talking about Balloons Tower Defense. 5th edition, because that's the version I own. That and Battles too. Balloons is a very fun tower defense game where you recruit monkeys to fight a common enemy. Balloon Boy. Who's trying to steal our AA batteries and plunge us into the Monkey Dark Ages? But his choice of weaponry is questionable. It's Balloons. Why did he choose them? Because they make great cannon fodder to protect the blimps. Because of Balloon Boy's infinite spam of balloons, the 5th Monkey Brigade was dispatched. Along with that, we have hired monkey mercenaries to help pop the balloons. Do I make myself clear? Now, let's get into the gameplay. Gameplay consists of hiring monkeys, using them to pop balloons and make money, and losing because you forgot to get a Moab Destroyer on round 50. You have to hire and fire monkeys so you can defend your village off screen. So, how do you get to this point? Here's the main menu. Ignore everything and just press play. Now, you're gonna get a selection screen, where you're gonna click the first map that catches your attention. Now, you're gonna click on hard. Confused? Trust me, it's actually completely doable your first time around. Now let's talk about the towers. Towers are very diverse and come in all shapes and sizes. For example, Dart Monkey, who's as basic as it gets. There's also Monkey Apprentice, who's a wizard. a wizard. And then there's Mortars, which are virtually useless. These are the worst towers in the game. Sell them and buy something else. Preferably the Cannon and the Sniper, or as I like to call these, the R-36 M2 Bovada Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, and... Stop, it's a good job, mate! Right? Not a crazed gunman, Dad, I'm an assassin. Well, the difference being, one is a job and the other's mental sickness. These two balloons have single-handedly gotten me from round 5 to round 70 in a single game, when upgraded. Yeah, there's upgrade trees in this game. How else are they going to keep you playing for long hours? What's the purpose of them? To teach you smart monetary decisions. For real though, it's meant to deal with the different balloons. The balloons have a habit of evolving into iron, stone, and blimps. Welcome to Darwin's theory of natural selection. When he originally made that theory, he was talking about balloons. These types of balloons have a habit of hiding more balloons within themselves. There's a joke there somewhere, and I'm not gonna make it. Now, let's get into graphics and music. There's only one song, and it loops on end. This might seem like a bad thing, but then you realize the song itself is actually quite good. The one complaint I have, though, is that it's going to be the only thing you hear for the rest of your life. Every time I watch Tank Pods, I only hear the balloons theme graphics work for most of the game. It's stupidly simple though, and the thing was very clearly made for Adobe Flash. God rest its name. This game has the personality of a spray-painted wall. Uh, I now realize I have nothing left to talk about except for the complaints. There's only two, but I have a moral obligation to talk about them. Complaint 1. Remember the towers? You may have noticed that there's a couple you can't place down. That's because they're water-exclusive towers. That wouldn't be a problem if they weren't two of the best towers in the game. The Monkey Buccaneer can shoot three shots at once, and with the proper upgrade tree, can become a goddamn naval ship. But there's very few maps you can use it on. So for that reason, I recommend you forget about them until you see some bright blue blocks, indicating there's water. The other water-based tower, the thermonuclear submarine, causes a missile crisis. They can also submerge. I do not know what this does, because I usually lose before I see any of its benefits. The second complaint I have is the leveling up system and the shop. Ignore the shop, it's useless to you. The leveling system, though, is a different story. The reason I hate the leveling system? Because it locks upgrades for every tower in the game. This is the source of a lot of pain for me personally, and my recommendation to get around this is to spam snipers and engineers at every level. Except, you can't. Because guess what? They thought of this, and uh, you have to go around and use every tower. In conclusion, I like balloons, and I will give it a 7 out of 10. I generally enjoy watching lines of balloons disappear in front of my eyes. This video was made possible by watching Super Mario Bros. speedruns and the group known as Anonymous. There's no way to head past this point. Hey guys, just drop it in here for a bit of an end segment. Originally, there was going to be a much longer video about Velma. 
that video is getting reworked because I don't think it's very funny. Instead, I'm going to upload this video. I had a lot of fun editing this video, and if anyone sees this, thank you for watching. Now, here's some small corrections and acknowledgements before I go live in the dry California desert. First off, yes, I am aware that I didn't talk about Super Monkey when bringing up the towers. That's because I usually die before I get to him. So, before you mentioned that I missing one of the best towers in the game, let me inform you that Super Monkey cost about as much as a slice of bread does in Venezuela. Second, yes, I still hate Mortar Monkey. Fight me on that one. Finally, this video was once again sponsored by the United States military in an effort to make more money to support the ongoing war on drugs. Next time, I'll be talking about my poor life choices with a hopefully longer video. See you there. Oh yeah, by the way, go sub to my second channel. I don't know if I'll ever upload there, but uh, yeah, it's there in case I ever feel like doing something random. Anyway, I had a cold during this segment, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys are happy.